<clears throat> Hello everybody and welcome to another Flutter video tutorial. In this video I'm going to talk about animations, another type of animation that how you can uh, this animation is about the page builder animation that uh, how we can use the page builder to animate from going from one page to another page and let's see the example by the end of in this video you will know how to learn this kind of animation let's see when I'm clicking in this button it's left button for now so you can change it any button you want you can give it the name so I'm going to click on this so as you can see this animation is from bottom to the top and you will learn how to animate from left to right or right to left and also top to bottom so let's jump to the code and see how we can build this kind of animations. Uh, so as you can see, I created already this project and I'm going to tell you how does it work. So at the top, as you can see, the first thing which I use the material app inside the run app. And remember to do that. And we have my app here and we have the build method that has a ret that will return the center widget after that we have the scaffold and the color background is umber and the title text is anim whatever you want to give you can use your own text in the body we have the center widget inside the center widget we have a column and column also has the main element property Inside it's children, uh, I use the elevated button when we click on this button which is left. So we can uh, name it anything. Animate. And how does it work when we are going to navigate to some page, so, so to another page. So we use on click of this or on press of this elevated button and use the navigator push and it needs a context and instead of a page route or um, other routing we use the uh, custom page route that we build up by ourselves so this is the slight right uh, route is the name of the method or the that's the name of our class that I built that and it has a constructor that is required a page that uh, I post the second page here that is already created and let's see uh, what else is there so in the child animate and I have a text also if, if you want so let's go there is this is the second page as you can see we have in the build method we have the scaffold color indigo background and the second page with the title of a bar we have in the body we have the same uh, center column and also that inside the child we have the elevated button on press of this uh, for now uh, we don't need to code and let's go see how the animations work I created a class name it a slight right route extend the page route builder so it is not a package or something it is just a class inside inside this class we have the constructor and we have a final widget a page so this constructor mm, has the parameter you know the page that is required which whenever we call this page we this uh, class then we should post the page here that we will animate the page to the second page okay so um, we are going to write the column and super class and then inside this super class we can we can use three property here the the page builder property which takes a function it, it, as you I can see here it's required widget function and uh, this function parameter has a built context animation the type of double 
and animation and also the page builder so let's see what is inside now you can see that oh i already do that by inside this bracket as you can see we have three parameters and also return a page which is a widget that coming from our page and also there is a transition builder that is going to give us the same parameters uh, for animation to animate our widget and we can we, we give the widget uh, the child so what is this slide transition this slide transition is going to transi tr uh, apply transition on our page so it has a parameter or property position then we are going to give it uh, the twin offset as you know that the twin has two required parameter which is the beginning and the end the beginning is a const offset 0.0, .0 and the end is offset 0 and also by putting a dot outside the bracket we can call the animate and pass the animation to the animate and we will give the child inside its child and it will animate the page for us for now as you can see there is 0, 0, 0, 0 let's see how it animate as you can see I just uh, want to rerun it for you to see that again so it's the same I changed this value to animate and if I click to this uh, elevated button as you can see the second page will appear and a kind of animation is applied to this and let's go back uh, I didn't talk about this uh, you can use the duration property here to give it a duration in second or minute if you want so you can put a value that it should animate for you if I put one then I save it and let's go back and see how it animate in this one value and you can see it's faster than one than uh, the previous one and let's change um, this offset I want to change the zero uh, here and the one here let's see what will happen control asset and let's see I'm going to animate this as you can see the changes so as you can see it come from the right and now you can change even this at one to minus one and let's check it out control I say it and this time it should animate from left to right because it's coming from the left side from here till here okay and also let's change the value for this from zero or from one from minus one okay sorry for this and it, it's again zero it, ah, what do you think what will happen to this let's save it and check what we did and let's animate it and it will animate from top to the bottom so it means you can come from right to the left from right to the left from left to the right and also uh, from bottom to the top and from top to the bottom thank you guys for watching till the end of this video and see you on the next one